A man who lost both his legs in 1994 parachuted this afternoon onto the Veterans Administration Center in Roseburg. It was part of National Prosthetics Day. Dana Bowman inspired many who saw him jump from the airplane. New Source 16's Monty Muirhead has more. Dana Bowman is a double amputee. He lost his legs in an accident during the annual Golden Knights training in Yuma, Arizona. He was the first double amputee to re-enlist in the United States Army. After retiring from the military in 1996, he earned a bachelor degree and now takes his message of inspiration around the country. We have men and women that are supporting our veterans each and every day, and it's important for each and every one of us here to land on target. For some, it wasn't what he said, but Bowman mere presence that made them come see his landing on the VA golf course. I was a shut in. My life, I thought my life was over. Well, yeah. you know it's not. No, it's not. I would have come clear cross country had it been necessary to come see Dana because um, he's a shows what people can do. Today's event at the VA Medical Center wasn't just a time to hear stories of tragedy from people who have survived incredible odds. For others, it was also a time of hope. In fact, one new prosthetic invention that's only been on the market a few weeks was unveiled at today's event. I've been in a wheelchair for the last two or three weeks because of the problems with my leg. And um, since I rode this one day, it just, it just changed everything. It's called the glide cycle. Ray Young, whose leg was amputated last year, says it's given him a new freedom. Michael Foster, whose leg was amputated at the hip 10 years ago after a lumber mill accident, agrees. My mobility in the last 10 years have been on a, in a wheelchair, and now I am at a point where now I'm walking all the time. In Roseburg, I'm Audie Muirhead, News Source 16.